10 seconds. Give me 10 seconds. Let's look at this cool prompt together and then we'll talk about it. Prompt engineering is just a fancy way of saying that you're gonna have the chat write the prompt for you. The main issue with this, of course, is that the prompt tends to be generic and not really what you need. The best way to do prompt engineering is to actually have a dialogue with the chat so that you can get customized results for exactly what you need. So what we're gonna do here today is to teach ChatGPT how to write a prompt on our behalf according to a set of requirements that we want. Uh, I really like this because it's the fastest way to get great prompts that ChatGTP truly understands and then gives you better results because you've prompted it properly. Let's jump in. Right from the start, you can see that I'm asking ChatGPT to work together with me to come up with the best possible response for a prompt. So there's a structure to this. I'm gonna say, here's my initial prompt and then I, populate and you'll see these brackets are kind of a common theme throughout my tutorials which is just kind of the language that the uh, prompt engine speaks then I say you request more details from me in the following format request three to five specific details then I'm going to answer those questions according to the list that the prompt creates in this nice easy format once we have this structure defined I'm giving it the role that I want it to play in order to proceed with this structure. All right, so you'll act as a professional prompt engineer and create more detailed prompts for ChatGTP. If I say yes to continue, then generate a response to this upgraded prompt. If I say no, ask me more details and I'll show you how this works. I will then provide additional information required, generate another prompt similar to step four, but taking into account the alterations I asked for in step seven. Now we're gonna ask it to continue to repeat steps six through eight until I'm happy with the prompt that it generates. And then finally it'll say, how may I help you? Okay, we're starting now. ChatGP has said, how may I help you? I respond with, I wanna create a great prompt for a hilarious stand-up comedy routine. So then it's gonna jump in and ask me the questions because I, I told it to ask me three to five questions. So what's your target audience? How long should the routine be? Are there any specific topics or themes you'd like the routine to cover? Do you wanna focus on any particular type of humor? And it gives examples of that, which is nice. And then are there any specific comedians you'd like this style of routine to emulate? So these are all really great questions that ChatGPT have put, has put forward to help me further expand upon the material that I'm looking for it to create. So then you can see here that I've responded to chat's questions, adults age 25 to 40, about two minutes in length, awkward family vacations is gonna be the theme that it's gonna talk about. I like exaggeration, satire, wordplay, and absurdity. Those are gonna be the types of humor that it's gonna use. And then I asked it to reference Nate Bargatze and John Mulaney. So of course now the dialogue comes back with an example of the prompt that it will be creating. And just for the sake of this, this example, I responded with, no, I'm not happy with this, just to demonstrate that you can still make changes, which is, again, why I like this prompt engineering formula best. So I say no. It says, which details are you not happy with? So then I go back and I make a couple of changes to say, I want to change what I said about number four and number five. So if you can look up here, you can see in number four, I said exaggeration, satire, wordplay, absurdity, and I've asked it to include the rule of three. And then I've also asked it to uh, include another comedian here, Jim Gaffigan. All right, so now it's got more information. And based on my response there, it creates an upgraded prompt, which is this. Pretty slick, right? So it gives me the ability to dynamically change things before I commit to using the prompt. And then from here, it says, are you happy with this revised prompt? I say yes, and boom. Um, I get this really nice, slick um, two-minute comedy routine. As usual, I'm going to put this all on my website, so you can just go straight there, download the content, drop it straight into ChatGPT, and try it out, which I'll put the link directly here. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.